To get started with WeVideo, go to www.wevideo.com and log in with your Google account. You will land on the dashboard where your recent edits will be. If you have an upgrade code, click Join Group and enter the code. Upgrading lets you go over the five minute limit of the free account and offers some premium tools like green screen and slow motion. But if you're just making a short video, the free account is more than sufficient for most videos. Choose create new to start a new video. If this is something other people will be co-editing with you, choose project. If you are editing the video solo, choose video edit and then next. To really edit your video well, you are going to need to use timeline mode, which is what I'm currently using. If your screen instead looks like this, you are in storyboard mode and you will need to use the three lines at the top of the screen to change to timeline mode. Timeline mode loads with two video tracks and one audio track for background music or narration, but you can use the plus button to add additional tracks as needed. I'm going to start with a title clip. WeVideo has a great selection of media I can use. Choose the graphics tab to find one that you like. Clicking on a thumbnail will allow you to play it in the preview menu. And once you find one that you like, you will need to drag it onto the timeline. Build your project on the video one track. Video two is useful when we want to layer pictures, text, or video on top of the existing video on the video one track. When I hover over this clip, I can see that it is 10 seconds long, which is a little too long for a title. So I will click on it and resize it to about four to five seconds. This is the playhead and it will note the time markers that you are currently at in your video. To add text, visit the text tab and choose the style you prefer. Click and drag that as a layer on top of your video background by putting it on the video two track and adjust its duration to match the background video. Then click the pencil to edit the text. Type in your title and adjust font size, style, and color. And choose done editing to return to the timeline. Now let's add some pictures and video files to our project by going back to the media tab. Any media clips, which include video, audio, and pictures that I've already used are showing here. Click the Import Media button to upload new content. You can import from your Google Drive or browse the computer that you are using for files. Once uploaded, your files appear in your My Media Clip Bin and you can drag and drop them onto the video tracks. You should clearly plan out or storyboard out your video so you know how best to arrange your media. I plan to use pictures and text layered on top of black backgrounds. First, I'll add in this picture and have it show for about five seconds. Then I'll add in a solid black background or some text, then another picture. If you need to zoom in or out, use the zoom tool. And to rearrange items, simply drag and drop them in the right order. Let me quickly add some text to show on top of this black background. If you are planning to add text to an image, you can, may want to try a different text style like subtitles. To preview what you have so far, put the playhead where you want to start previewing and then click play. Right now, this is a little choppy and I can fix that by adding transitions between my clips on the transitions tab. Adding fades and animations to pictures also makes the video smoother and look more professional. To have a text fade in, click on the text and then choose open fade options. One second is a pretty good time for fades. You can also have pictures fade in the same way or click the pencil and add in animation or movement. Just decide where you want to start and then what you want your picture to look like when it ends. You can also apply a fade in and out here if desired. Now when I preview my video, my video looks much more polished and professional with the fades, transitions, and animations. Now let's drop in a video clip and see how to edit it. I'll click on media and choose this video file and drag it onto the video one track. Let's say I want to cut out part of the video since currently it's too long. 
Simply put the playhead at the beginning of the part that you want to cut out and click the scissors to make a cut. Now move the scissors to the end of the part that you want to remove and again make a cut. You can now choose and delete the section that you want to cut out. You can now drag the clips together or highlight both of them with your mouse, right click and choose delete gap to remove the empty space. Making cuts with a scissor tool allows you to delete parts of a video that you don't want and to create a space where you can add in something else. Now that I have a split in this video clip, I will add in another black background so that I can integrate some more text. When trying to insert another item in a split between existing media, you are given the option to basically push the item over to make room, which is what you're going to do 99% of the time, or you can trim the other clips to make room. I'll choose the insert and push option. We video is saving periodically as I go, which is ideal, but you can also use the three lines to rename and save your videos whenever you want to for additional peace of mind. Now let's see how you can add voice narration and background music to your project. Return to the media tab and put the playhead where you want your narration to begin approximately. Your audio will be editable, so you can edit out goofs and rearrange it later if necessary. Now click the microphone icon and allow WeVideo to access your mic. If you want to preview or see the video as you are talking, click this box. Again, you can easily move and edit the audio later, so some prefer simply to read from their script instead of watching the screen as they record. Click the red microphone icon to begin and then click stop to end recording. Then choose the green check mark to add your narration to your clip bin. And you'll also see that a new track called voiceover one has been added to your project. You can rearrange the placement of the audio narration and you can use the scissors to easily cut out parts that you don't want. Now let's add in some background music. WeVideo has a nice collection of songs that you can use from the audio tab, or you can upload your own MP3 files on the media tab. Click on the audio tab and find a song you like, and then drag it onto the audio track. Use the zoom out tool to see if the song is as long as your video. You can trim it if the song is too long, or you can add in the same song or a different song if you need to fill in empty space. I recommend fading your music in and out with a fade tool. And most importantly, make sure to preview how the song and your voice narration sound. If the background song is drowning out your voice and making it hard to hear your narration, then use the slider to turn the volume down on the song and up on your voice. You can save and exit and return to continue editing as often as you need to. And when you are completely finished editing, you will need to finish the video so that you have a file that can be shared with others. When completely done, click Finish. Set a title and choose the quality of your export. HD is only available for premium members. Finished videos are automatically saved to your WeVideo account and you'll get a link that you can send to others for them to see your video. Also, you can send your finished video file to your Google Drive or YouTube if you have an account. After you click Finish, you'll get a message that your video is being queued and then rendered. You don't need to stay on this page while it is being finished. In fact, the link where your video will be is typically already available. Once processing is done, you'll be able to download your video if you want to, or you can find it anytime on the Videos tab where it can also be downloaded. The link at the top of the page can be sent to anyone you like so they'll be able to view your video right here. WeVideo is a flexible tool that provides a free or inexpensive way to easily create sharp videos.